this is his sixth, seventh visit here, and he won by knockout in his last outing. He has a record of four wins and two losses to date in the Senshi ring. So, Mineiro from Brazil has got his work cut out. Here we go, first round, under 80 kilos. I have to say these guys look bigger than that. Todorovic, long, rangy, fighting the Brazilian who is shorter, thick, and looks very powerful. Todorovic is gonna be dangerous with those knees. Once he finds his range, just peppering those shots, nothing very powerful. He's got knockout power, as we saw from his last outing. Whoop, slip there from Monero. Rodrigo Monero from Brazil. I wonder when he flew in and if he cut weight. He looks like he's piled on some pounds since the weigh-in. But coming from Brazil, you know the flight can affect people. Bit of jet lag. Nice body shot there from Todorovic. There's that knee I was talking about. Suk up there, breaking them up. Interestingly, the Bulgar sorry, the Brazilian doesn't look like the more powerful of the two when it comes to punching. I think once Todorovic gets his range dialed in, He's going to be a big problem. Whoop! <laughs> Somersault kick there, Sanchez style. Although Sanchez is more of a cartwheel kick specialist. That kick was effective. But Todorovic returns the favour. Nice left hook there as he comes in. Now as we approach the end of the first round. Blood from the face of Nikola Todorovic from Serbia. Very interesting to see how the judges score that first round. Myself, I'd be in favor of giving it to Nikola Todorovic. 10-9. He was busier, landed the crisper techniques. But Rodrigo Monero did open up something. I don't know where that blood was coming from. As one of our sponsors this evening, BMW, ladies and gentlemen. Good Lord, I'd love to be riding home on one of those. But back to the action. Brazil versus Serbia. A very tall and rangy Nikola Todorovic 
making his seventh outing here in the Senshi ring. And Rod Rodrigo Mineiro from Brazil, the first time here at Senshi. He's thick set, muscular, looks very powerful. But I don't think he can really, he doesn't seem to be able to get himself going this evening. And now Todorovic finding his range. Nice right hand there in close. I'd like to see Todorovic. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. I'd like to see him utilize his knees more. There we go. That left knee landed. It wasn't a concussive blow, but you can't get in the way of those too many times. Now some combinations, a bit more busy. Halfway through this second round, a nice right hand from Todorovic. And the Brazilian looks tired already. There's that right hand again, and a knee, and another knee. I think Todorovic changed up a gear. He pushes his opponent to the ground. And the Brazilian takes his time to get up. He's feeling the pace already. Still a minute to go in this second round. He's dangerous with that, those knees, is Todorovic. Rodriguez holding on. Sorry, Monero. Rodrigo Monero. Big swinging punches. That was a nice right hand. Whoop. The Brazilian falls down. Is he injured? What's happened here? Well, can't quite see what's happened. The fight is over. Now he's damaged his right shin. The doctor's in there taping it up. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight is over. There was a lot of blood coming out down. You can see on the anklet of the Brazilian. That must have been a nasty gash. So his left shin was already cut. And there we see it. And that opened up. You can see the blood on the left thigh of Todorovic. And there we go, you see it. The right low kick hit the shin of Todorovic and must have opened up Minero's right shin to such an extent that the fight was called off so, just as we almost reached the end of the second round, Nikola Todorovic is going to win this contest by way of TKO. Well, a disappointing outing for Rodrigo Minero. Winner by TKO, Nikola Todorovic from Serbia. Todorovic there. Listen, a W is a W. If your Mr. shins are harder than your opponents, that's all part of this game. And once again, at the end of this contest, look, these guys, they're trying to hurt each other, but at the end, arms around each other, sportsman-like. This is what we love to see here at Senchi. True martial artists. So that's six that's awesome fights down, seven to go. Every
every fighter receiving a beautiful belt and a huge trophy this evening, as well as a, a certificate for the loser and the winner for participating in this world-class event. I'm not sure whether Minero is going to go and have stitches on that shin, how deep that was. That's the left shin. He didn't stop for that. And I've seen those injuries before, and I've seen it go down to the bone. Thank you guys. It's not a pretty sight.